Jennifer and I'm a senior here at Northern Tech University majoring in chemistry education and today we're going to do an experiment that lets us see what different types of solution can indicate a pH range. So what I have here is just a beaker that's full of distilled water and I have my empty beaker here and what we're going to use is a pH indicator called phenothaline in which indicates a pH range between 8 to 12. And as our base, we are, or, yeah, our base, we're going to use sodium carbonate. So what I'm gonna take here is I'm gonna take my phenothaline, and I'm gonna put five drops in the water. And as we can see, there isn't a color change yet with that water when the pH indicator is added. And that's because that water doesn't have a pH that is in that range from eight to 12. So with our sodium carbonate, we're going to scatter some on the bottom of the beaker. and we are going to slowly pour in the water that has our pH indicator in it and look for a color change to happen immediately. So there we go. We can see that we have our bright pink color change. What would we need to do in order to get this pH to shift back to make it more acidic, to make the water clear again? So what we are going to do is I have right here some carbon dioxide ice or some dry ice and we're going to add this in here for the carbon dioxide to react with the water in order to form carbonic acid. So as we can see the reaction taking place of the, of the base with the acid and we have our gas that's being released. And as this reaction takes place, we notice that the pink color is getting lighter and lighter until it turns clear, and which indicates that the solution is no longer in that eight to 12 pH range, and the solution is now became more acidic. Thank you.